Hello and uh, welcome to video number two. Uh, this is the second day of uh, recording uh, of my project, uh, which is probably, hopefully, gonna last for many, many days, many weeks, many months, hopefully a year, if I'm that lucky and have uh, made it a routine. Uh, and today, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, well, I didn't uh, tell you last uh, time that uh, the gameplay in the background was jumping, but uh, you probably can see it anyways, but uh, I think that's a uh, okay game to be in the background, and it's an okay game to watch live as well on the stream. I, uh, I watched some streams uh, on it live, and uh, I think it's like... It's addicting to watch and it's addicting to play. Like you're always exciting about uh, coming to the next uh, screen uh, in Jumpkin, Jumpkin, and uh, it's also satisfying to get uh, better and better and progress uh, there after. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, also I guess it's uh, nice to have in the background when I talk. Like, uh, you can get, uh, have something nice to see while you're listening. Uh, and, uh, yeah, in all in all, it's a good game. Uh, I've probably played it for, like, 9 to 10 hours right now. And uh, I have come, I'm not gonna spoil where I'm coming, but uh, I have come a pretty long um, way. Probably longer than uh, the screen you're watching right now. I think in this video I am at the forest area, almost getting into the, the well or the sewers. And uh, yeah, going from there. And I hate that area, or uh, not the start area, but the, the sewer, sewer, sewer plus uh, the area after that. That's a shit area, in my opinion. Uh, however, what did I do today? Well, today I was uh, supposed to go to class, but uh, I didn't. I slept for a long ass time. And uh, yeah, my schedule is really good, I guess. It's totally normal to wake up at uh, 3 o'clock <laughs> on a Friday. Uh, although, I'm gonna try something um, extreme. Uh, I'm gonna try at least uh, to stay up all night and uh, do a pull a all nighter so that I can readjust my uh, sleeping schedule so I can wake up at like eight o'clock in the morning regularly uh, instead of waking up at uh, f uh, fucking two and three o'clock. So I'm gonna try to stay up all night and see where it takes me. Uh, probably it's gonna be really hard uh, although I didn't sleep until 6 30 last night um, so I think it's possible but I need to have something to do if not uh, it's gonna be really really hard I think uh, but uh, wish me luck guys uh, because I think that's gonna be really tough I never pulled an all-nighter like that before uh, the only thing I can remember that I did was, uh, it was back in uh, first grade actually, first time I uh, um, slept over at a friend's house. Uh, none of us could sleep uh, because we probably were so excited that we could sleep uh, in the same room together as best friends. That sounded really weird when I said that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we we uh, talked all night and just had a lot of fun, but uh, none of us could sleep, so yeah, uh, the day after I um, remember I was really really tired and uh, I remember that we were going on a vacation with the family, so I slept uh, in the car like a, like a baby, so yeah, that was pleasant because I remember that those road trips were horrible. Uh, because uh, it's kind of a big family and it's a really long way to where we were going. So yeah, that was nice, I remember. 
Uh, and after that, I haven't really pulled an all-nighter. Uh, the only thing I can remember is that uh, after like a party or something, I have uh, yeah stayed up till like five or six o'clock in the morning uh, after just partying all night. So that's the only thing I've tried that is close to being up at 24 hours. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try it now again and see where it takes me. So, yeah. Uh, and what else did I do, do today uh, other than waking up uh, late? Well, I. Uh, what did I do actually? Well, I did go to the kitchen and made my famous uh, oatmeal with uh, berries and. Uh, frost berries and banana and raisins. Uh, ate that, uh, watched some shit on my computer as always, and then I went to the gym, chugged my pre-workout, uh, or not in that, that order, first I chugged my pre-workout, then went to the gym, and uh, pulled some, uh, pushed some weights, uh, after that I just went home, made some really nice steak and baked potatoes, uh, now I'm sitting here uh, recording this, so yeah, quite a productive day. And also I tried to read some for school for one hour, although my discipline, self-discipline, is not really strong right now. Uh, therefore I think I have to make it a routine so that I can uh, think less about it and stay more focused. And also I think studying at another place is also the key for me to focus because when I read at my room I'm having all these distractions uh, first of there's my computer second of there's my phone and uh, third there's like noise outside the window because I live uh, right by um, traffic the uh, trafficking area with a lot of cars and people and uh, yeah I have to eliminate those excuses by going to a new place so that I can't get interrupted. So that's uh, something I really should do, to be honest. And uh, you know, that's uh, it sounds so easy to do, but when you're like procrastinating and stuff, it's really not that easy. But in theory, it is. It just it just it is just do it, you know. It's not worse than that, so pr people probably are listening to this and thinking, what a fucking, what, what a fucking pussy, you know? Yeah, and I understand that because when you see this from another perspective, it's like ridiculous. And I can imagine like, this is like some really, um, what is it called? Luxury problems, uh, because I'm living in a wealthy country and have a lot of opportuni opportunities and people from other countries with not so many opportunities are probably like laughing their asses off but uh, yeah that's that's the case in uh, my country I am have opportunities and uh, I'm really lucky I have to say that even though you always have fine problems that's just how life is I guess uh, and uh, I watched a lot of uh, what did I do well, what did I watch today well I didn't watch anything special but I did stream uh, Jump King actually on Twitch and uh, uh, surprisingly I got uh, a few viewers like I have tried streaming before but uh, not so regularly I'm gonna try to make it a routine to stream like two hours a day and uh, to be honest I think one hour is a lot to stream but two hours is awful a lot and today I streamed for three hours and 30 minutes only because I was so stubborn that I won't, didn't want to give up before I reached a certain level so that was exciting and also there was a lot of people in chat or a lot of people is uh, <laughs> not accurate to put it but there was a few 
who used the chat, so that was nice. And I averaged like uh, two or three or four viewers or something like that. And that's really good to be on a new one, I think. So yeah, I would say would say it's a good uh, good day uh, for streaming, and also in the progression in Gem King. So all in all, okay day, good day. Uh, of course, could have been better uh, <laughs> when you think about the school stuff, but ah, who the fuck cares, you know? That will come later uh, when I have to read. And it's, to be honest, I'm kind of, um, what is it called? Overvedere. Uh, overrating. It's, I, it, it's kind of overrated. Like, it's not that difficult, uh, the exam that I'm taking. Uh, but I'm treating it as it like, at this, at this, as if it is like <laughs> a really hard one. Because, uh. I figured I have to have that mindset, if not I'm just gonna be too lazy to do anything. And uh, that uh, I have learned from experience, that if I'm not treating anything seriously, then I'm just gonna not doing any anything. And I think I could have, ma have made it uh, without doing anything, probably, but I'm going for... I have to go for the best uh, grades, so therefore I have to do a little bit more effort this time. Um, yeah, because uh, I've always been like a, a guy who doesn't doesn't give a hundred percent unless you, I really have to, you know. Uh, for example, in school, I didn't uh, in high school I didn't find it that important to get good grades. I really didn't value school that much, which I probably should have done. Uh, the things I valued the most were probably gaming and the social life. Uh, and that uh, bite me in the, the ass now, the uh, following years, uh, to be honest. And uh, I have to pay uh, the consequences of it, like I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Sometimes it's not a good idea, but also it's really hard to uh, to make effort for something you don't really care so much about. Uh, and that's also why I'm trying to do this instead. Like this is something I feel like is something I could... Uh, could... Uh, like... Uh, invest time in doing uh, recording myself and putting it on the internet or recording my voice even and speaking like I know this probably is really bad but I am uh, aiming for uh, to get better like um, yeah stuff like that you know because being a content creator uh, seems like such a cool job and I would really like to try to go that path and see where it takes me. I'm not expecting much, but uh, I want to um, either way, like, um, what is it called? Uh, progress in that area. Uh, and by doing this, hopefully, like every day, I will see somewhat uh, progression. And uh, what would be really funny is uh, if someone is uh, seeing these videos and interacting and uh, a community is created, that would be the perfect uh, scenario. Although I know that it takes time, probably years before that happens, because that's how it works, I guess. But the more videos I post, the bigger the chance, I guess, to one of the videos to uh, get some track. I think that's somehow how it works, but uh, we'll see. I will try to learn as much as I can and uh, I'll take it from there. And uh, 
uh, the content that I watch uh, on YouTube right now is uh, there's not really that much content that I see, to be honest. Like right now, I'm watching like old videos of uh, some IRL streamers. Uh, a guy called Ice Poseidon, <laughs> really funny guy, <laughs> uh, who IRL streamed on Twitch and was really popular back then like in 2017 uh, era where he like did crazy stuff in real life and streamed it and yeah like yeah, super toxic fan base which was both funny and just terrible uh, they were awful towards him and others so that's not really like like that's uh, I can see like how he really had a problem with uh, that but also uh, the community is the one who kind of uh, makes him popular and makes the the memes also so there's like both good and bad in his community you could say uh, a really like controversial community which uh, makes for uh, exciting moments you could say but also uh, toxic moments which uh, can offend a lot of people and uh, that's not good when you are partnered with a platform who uh, s have content for kids as well so I can see why he got banned from Twitch as well and he also got like uh, sent a bomb squad on a minimum or something on a plane or a SWAT team Someone called him out or something and he got caught and got on the news and shit. So yeah, it's crazy stuff like I really But I really enjoyed his stream and like his uh, Personality I guess like like I know I know like he has had a mask on when he's live like he's acting crazy and weird and all those things for views or attention I guess but I can see kind of that he is a decent person on outside of the camera kind of so yeah that's something that I watch uh, a lot uh, now uh, also I watch uh, Twitch sometimes I'm watching a guy named Forsen Swedish uh, streamer a racist I mean Swedish streamer who uh, yeah, just uh, he doesn't say much because he doesn't really need to, which is uh, I kind of find it that really funny and I guess that's the ideal situation for him. Like he could be as lazy as he wants, but uh, <laughs> he still has an active community which uh, makes uh, jokes for him and uh, makes memes for him and makes uh, the channel worthy of watching, I guess. And he doesn't need to do anything. Which I, I find kind of cool, you know, I respect that. And also, I really enjoyed watching him. Um, I watched a lot of uh, him before as well. I like, he was uh, the kind, I think he was the guy who introduced me to Twitch. Or like when I watched his stream back in the day when he played Hearthstone, that's when I like first uh, starting, started watching Twitch and got into like the Twitch community uh, and watched other Twitch streamers like I, I remember he, his stream was so weird like uh, from my perspective I was like I, I was a normie or something uh, or what they would call me like I had no um, no hours on Twitch I, had, I didn't watch anything I only just Call of Duty content and then I just uh, watched this random it was the he was on the front page or something and I just clicked it and uh, then I see this Scandinavian guy I thought first he was Norwegian and I was like wow that's interesting but uh, later figured out he was Swedish and uh, still he was really I thought he was really cool he was just chilling listening to music in the background while his chat was like super fast and I was like so fan fascinating fascinated and they just spammed all this weird shit and 
several lines uh, of spam. I was like overwhelmed. It was crazy to me. And then after I watched a little bit, then suddenly like some weird songs come came up, like some uh, gay guys screaming. And uh, I later realized that that was a genre of music called gachi, which is basically gay men screaming. Uh, and ha in like remixes and stuff so yeah that was really weird but i really found that community to be really uh really nice i guess uh it's a lot of uh, internal or uh what is it called intern humor intern humor like you have to stay a while to really understand what is going on like inside the humor, I guess it's called. And I, there's a lot of that in that community. And uh, they're also known for making a lot of the memes that's on the Twitch platform. So yeah, that's like the core of the platform, I guess you could say. Which is also really fascinating. And it's also fascinating to see how a chat room can like create so much uh, shit and so much uh, funny th moments and stuff like that. Um, now I talked a lot about <laughs> streamers, I guess. Uh, I feel like I could talk a lot about uh, content creators and streamers because I have watched a lot of it uh, in a couple of years. I first started to watch it when I was like uh, when I first got my PlayStation because I wanted to see. Uh, how to get better at Call of Duty or something like that. I think that was why, uh, how I got first got introduced to it. And then I watched a guy called Chris Smoove, who was basically camping and recording it with some funny, funny commentary. And uh, I really enjoyed that. I remember. And then I watched like T Martin. I think a lot of people know about that guy who later became a scammer <laughs> and now he's a vlogger or something but uh, yeah I re really enjoyed watching him and then I watched like zombie content like the syndicate project then I watched some snipers from face like face apex and a lot of guys you know so yeah uh, it's almost like I got raised <laughs> by youtubers kind of spend a lot of time on uh, YouTube at least so yeah that's maybe why I'm here again can't really uh, can't really <laughs> what is it called YouTube can't get rid of me yet just yet so this is my last try so I guess since it's 23 minutes I see you guys later Hopefully tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this out. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. No one is uh, on this channel right now, I guess. But uh, I will say this to myself. I will make one tomorrow, and I will post it tomorrow. I'll post probably both videos tomorrow because I haven't edited this one yet, as I speak. But uh, as you can hear this, I have. So yeah. Uh, this was Adriano on the mic. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day, evening, whatever.